welcome back to our channel. You guys wanna say hi? Hi. What up, YouTube? So we are currently on our way. I know this surprises all of you for a full day of games. So first, where are we going, Annie? My game. She has a softball slash t-ball game at 8 a.m. at 7.30. We're on our way there now. And Chris is gonna stay for, he can only stay for like 15 minutes or so because Jackson has a double header. It's just a scrimmage, but it's against these like really good tournament team. So it's going to be an exciting two games for his team. So Chris is dropping me, Cohen and Annie off. He'll stay, like I said, for 15 minutes. And then my mom is meeting us there. So me, Cohen and Annie will ride with my mom to Jackson's games, um, which are in Gilbert. So it's gonna be a full day. His games are at 10 and 12. So we're probably not gonna get home to like three or four when all is said and done because games always go over, you know, all that good stuff. So that is what we have planned for today. I thought it had been a while since I did a YouTube vlog. So we're just gonna vlog our baseball Saturday for you guys. Um, we just finished fall break. We're back to school. Anything you guys wanna share with YouTube? Me. What, Aniston? I made it a boat and I painted it. She made a ship at school and she painted it. From the olden days. From the olden days. Are you learning about like pilgrims at school? Yeah. Yes, from the olden days. That's amazing. Cohen, is there anything you want to share? No. No? Cohen's been, um, he doesn't have any games this week and his next game I don't think is till, until Friday the 23rd. Um, and then Aniston's is just every Saturday at 8 a.m. So. Can I tell them something? Yes, Annie. I read this book to my teacher. Mm -hmm. It was called Toy Belt. Uh huh. And then it was heading and it was getting pushed around with a lot of boats with eyes. Okay. And one boat said, I know it's hard being pushed around in the water. Yeah. Look at a pair of blenders. Thanks for sharing. Jackson's obsessed with blenders. Chris gave him one of his pairs, so he's been wearing them for baseball and he really likes them. So, all right, guys, we will check back in with you shortly. I'll be sure to try and film when Jackson's up to bat and when, like, Anderson's up to bat. And we'll definitely have to vlog one of your games coming up, huh, Cohen? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we will be Bye, back I shortly. Love you guys. All right, let's see you Anderson, that you're going to hustle over to Coach Tara, okay? Oh, good hit. Run. There you go, she's on first. All right, we'll have to come back and see if we can catch her slide. We gotta see if she's gonna slide. Run, run, run! Run hard, Annie, run hard! Oh, no slide. She'll probably skip, yep. <laughs> Good job, Annie! Good job, sweetie. Hey guys, what are we doing, Cohen? Jackson's double header. Yeah, what are we riding in, Annie? Nana's new car. There's Nana. Hi. She's driving. We. She just got a 2021 Toyota RAV4. I'll have to show you guys the color. Love it. I'm obsessed with the color. But we stopped at Starbucks. My mom and I got these salted caramel, salted caramel cold brews. I made a few adjustments. I found this um, vlog or blog I should say that had like macro friendly Starbucks drinks and it tells you exactly how to order it and then all the macros for it so super helpful and then I got just like a little like a little snack thing from there that had like grilled chicken nan red pepper hummus and then baby carrots and sugar snap peas so I just had that as a snack I got the kids some cake pops they're gonna eat them when we get there um, his game started like 15 minutes ago but it's a scrimmage so we're running a little bit late because of the Starbucks stop and we went home and let my mom's puppy out so we will definitely update you guys Annie how did your softball game go good she got some really good hits I filmed some of your hits for YouTube I loved this car. Me too. And she had some really good plays. She played a lot of different positions, but especially when she was pitcher, she got a lot of action, huh? Yeah. 
You got the ball a lot of times and threw it to what base? Do you remember? Yes. First, yes. She had some really good throws. So we will be back when we get to Jackson's game and I'll try to film him up to bat and all that good stuff. And we will be checking back in when we get there. So we'll be back shortly. Come on, Jack. Good hit. Good hustle. Good hustle. Hey, he's on deck. Get the back. He's on deck. I'll keep the video going while he's on first. Yes. Nice hit. Oh, Good job, boys. Nice hustle, Zach. That's a bad way to go, boys. Go, Cody. Go, Cody. Hey, two out. Contact. Two out. 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 One second, babe, I'll fill it up. Oh, you did where? The water fountain? Somebody, like, apparently, you know, like, in my water. Did you say thank you? Yeah, it's hot out, huh? Can you get the lid? All right. Three out. Good job, Jax. Okay, so we are at game two now. Um, the first game they lost, but they played a 13U tournament team that is like really, really good. They're a triple A team. And a lot of our kids are 11 and 12. We have a couple 13 year olds. So um, the second game just started. So it's on a smaller field now. They moved the bases and measured it out. And um, I think this game will be a little bit, not easier because it's still a really good competition for the boys, but they get so down on themselves, you know, when they lose. But it's like you played a team that's a lot older than you and it's strictly a tournament team. Like you guys did good. Um, so Jackson had a really good hit that I, you guys saw on film, but he got um, the next kid that was up to bat or whatever after him got out. So he never got to make it home. He got to second and then it was three outs and he had to change and go back out into the infield. So right now Cohen and his friend are playing on this empty field behind me. I'll kind of show you really quick. They're playing over there. Um, and then Annie's running around and riding her scooter with a friend. So just thought I would check in. I will film the next time Jackson's up to bat. He was just about to be up to bat, but his friend before him got out and it was the third out. So when he's up, I will be back to show you guys. And by the way, it's really hot. It's like 90 degrees, but there's barely a breeze. There's a little bit one right now, but ugh, it is hot. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Good eye. 
Okay. Go, Jack. Gatorade water, Philip. It's water. Everyone's all in there. Okay. Party's pushed off. <laughs> Good eye. Good eye, Jax. Turn him up, turn him up, turn him up, turn him up. There you go, bud. Hey, Cody, make sure we're wrong with our head up, okay? Come on, Jax. Good job, Mom. Good eye, Jax. He's cheering you on. Is that your pet? Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. That guy came in. Run around, run around. Hustle, Jax, hustle. Gotta get Cody, Cody, gotta get Cody. Good hustle, Cody. Yes. Good job, Jax. Cohen and his friends are coming back from the park. Did you see that, Cohen? Did you Did you see that? They were just playing right there at the park. Yeah. How was the park? Is it hot? Yeah. Had to hide? Why don't you get some water, okay? All right, get some water. All right, I just wanted to show you guys when he was up to bat. Or maybe I'll stay for a second. See what happens here. He's still on first. He's not fast. <laughs> These boys. Good swing, bud. Hey, go! 
That's all right, bud. You got it, Riley. Longest ball clip ever. Get some water, Annie. Can I have your eyes? Not all of it. I need some too because you took all my water. Don't stick your hand in there. Do not stick your hand in there, please. I'll hand you one. Wait one sec. Good job, Jax. We are hot, tired, and cranky. Not Nana. Someone who shall not be named. Um, Cohen decided to ride with Chris and Jackson because Jackson, two of his teammates, Chris is taking them home, so he wanted to ride with the guys. So the guys went in the Suburban, the girls went with Nana. So we are heading home October 16th. It is 92 Two degrees. Turn right onto South Hickory Road. There was barely any breeze. There was briefly for a minute a little bit of a breeze. We're hot, we're no tired, shade. we're sunburnt. Like, it's awful. No shade, it was terrible. So who would have thought we need to buy like a canopy for shade? And I told Chris, I'm like, it's gonna be cooling down soon. Like we will buy it like next season for spring season. No, we should have bought one last night to have for today because it was miserable. It was so hot and tired and everyone is out of water. Um, thankfully one of the moms on the team brought a bunch of extra water bottles she's so sweet and gave us all like extra water but like we're all hot tired I'm at that neighborhood's called Finley Farms oh. my mom's dog's name's Finley um, I'm starving I had breakfast this morning but it's 2 40 almost and I haven't had anything else to eat other than a snack at the game so we're gonna head I don't know if we're gonna stop at my mom's or if we're going straight to our house I'm not sure what we're doing yet but we need some water, we need some food, we are exhausted. I just wanted to check in with you guys. They ended up losing, see look, Finley Farms. They ended up losing their last game by one point and that was also a triple A team. So they did a phenomenal job. They played so well, especially playing back to back. Yeah, in the heat, because the first team they played and the second team they played, they played their 13U team and their 12U team. So those two teams each played one game. Our boys played two games. So they did fantastic. They did so good. Do you remember when we went here, Annie? It's like a water park. We went there with Mary. So we're going to be coming up on Garcia's, I think. Mom? Yeah. That oh, restaurant, Garcia. Garcia's. So anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I just wanted to check in. They didn't win, lost by one point, but they did a great job. So I'll let you guys know what the plan is next. But um, 
I'm not quite sure. My best friend called and wanted to do some stuff with the kids, but I'm like, we're exhausted. We're tired. We've been up since 5.30 this morning. It's hot. We're starving. We all just kind of want to rest, so we will see. All right, we are home and exhausted. Yeah. I think this is where you'll find us the rest of the day. Chris is watching football. Um, after I got off of here, I should have came back. My mom and Annie and I went to Chick-fil-A because we were like starving because he called and he took the boys to go grab some lunch. So we're like, okay, we'll go grab something to eat. So we went to Chick-fil-A, then I ran into Target to pick up Cohen's prescription. So I should have came back and like checked in then, but we literally just got food and ate it in the car, went to Target and came home. And now we're just all kind of like dead. Like the kids are upstairs. I would not be surprised if Annie and Cohen were sleeping. Jackson's so tired. Like Chris has been napping off and on on the couch the last hour we've been home. I just made a cold brew because I'm like, I need to find some energy somewhere. Um, I had planned on getting some things done today, but I think I'm just gonna make it a lazy day. Yeah. What do you think? I think I'm already being lazy. Because I mean, it's already like almost five o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Oh no, it's 5.17, it's after five. So we're just gonna have leftovers for dinner if anyone's hungry, because we ate at like 3.30, probably. So I got leftovers from dinner last night, but I just wanted to come on and close out the vlog. What did you think of the games today, babe? Uh, I think the boys did really well. I think they did too. I mean, the score doesn't show, but the score did show we lost by one in the second game. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm saying, like, the score doesn't show how good the kids play, actually Oh, play. okay, yeah. No, I agree, yeah. They did so good. Like, so good. So, we're just going to have a lazy day the rest of the day. Um, and I'm going to get all my housework and stuff done tomorrow and try to do some meal prepping and planning um, and make a grocery list and all that stuff because Chris and I are doing the macro counting, like I've mentioned, in some of my grocery hauls. Um, and one of my friends is doing it, so she gave me some snack ideas. Plus, we talked to our coach, and he gave us some, like, lists with some, like, um, not like, I guess you could call it a cheat sheet. You know, like, if you are if you have protein to fill, here's, like, a list of stuff. If you have fats to fill, here's a list of stuff, like, things like that. So I think we're just going to take it easy the rest of the night. He's watching football. I'm just sitting down having my coffee and then we'll probably just like watch some TV once the kids go to bed tonight and then tomorrow it'll be getting the house in order, getting lots of laundry done and meal prepping and planning. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. We appreciate you all and we love you all so much and let me know if you want to see more vlogs. We'll be doing some more day in the life and vlogs if that's what you guys want to see. I hope you guys all had a fantastic week and I hope you have a great weekend and everyone stays safe and healthy. Bye guys.